Hello, Cody Miller fans, all beloved and loyal. Is it season two already? Yeah, yeah. So excited! <laughs> Two of the vlog is here! Woo! <laughs> We're just finishing breaststroke practice with some pulleys. Got some light weight on. I'm doing like a little bit of breaststroke kick just to kind of build up my legs again. We're having a good time. Lily, how was your 400 um, breaststroke for time? You know, I went for it. <laughs> the fly and die. Go for it. The fly and die. <laughs> So since I've started training again, I've started doing a lot of really new things, a lot of really cool things, things that I'm excited to share with you in this vlog. Um, particularly, we've started, officially started Friday, fun day. So every Friday, we're doing something new, something fun. Last Friday, we did turn boards, which was really cool. Wait, have you already done one? Nope. So we're rocking the mid-pool board right now. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. Alan, and oh. It took in right here at the 10 meter mark, and you sprint down, back down, into a flip, full 25 in the next lane. Get on board. Here he goes. Oh, oh God. He has got, he's got some power. Straight from 15 to the wall, kick all out that way, then buoy in, pull all out this way, repeat. We just finished our turn boards practice. I love Friday Fun Day. It's always good to have fun, put the boards in, do some short sprints. It's always like, you're always on the verge of death. You're always on the verge of running head into someone. I almost died several times. It's a controlled chaos kind of environment. It's how we like it, it's how we roll. Supporting you, your support system. Thank you. Right. Boards are actually really heavy. They float pretty well, but they're actually very, very heavy. <laughs> oh, wait, keep doing more. There's more. There's more. Oh, oh. oh. that's not appropriate for the vlog. I'm gonna have to edit Bella twerking. Yeah, edit that out. You also might have noticed that I've been wearing new goggles. A couple weeks ago, I had a package arrive at my door. This box showed up at my doorstep the other day from Tear. I have no idea what's in it, honestly, no idea. Let's open it up and find out. Ah! New swim bag. That's pretty cool. Ooh! Not bad, not bad. New goggles. These look pretty fresh. Oh, yeah. It really is nothing like a fresh pair of goggles. Oh. Psyched to try these suckers out in the pool. So over the past few weeks, I've been wearing these and I love them. There's more peripheral vision out of these goggles than any other goggle ever made. And I wasn't sure how I felt about that until I've raced in them and swam them a lot and I love them. The only thing I don't like is they're not mirrored, so I don't have a mirrored pair. So I don't like when people can see my eyeballs when I'm swimming. I don't want anyone to know where I'm looking. Other than that, I love these. I just need to get a mirrored pair from Tier. They do make really cool, colorful ones, I think. Um, I wore these last Saturday during our pace set and it was great. Um, I, I vlogged a little bit about that. Uh, check that out. That was the funniest thing I've ever heard. What? Three quarters of the way through the set. Four guys. And Misha's throwing it. down. Absurdly oh, fast time. And Blake over there goes, Does anyone have a bear? Oh, <laughs> His nickname is the bear. Blake's calling for bear drivers. 
Yeah. You wouldn't understand. Good job, Easy. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Woo! We just finished our 40 50 set, which is a set of 16, a set of 12, a set of 8, a set of 4. Great set. Didn't do any breaststroke kick. I did IM order, but we're moving in the right direction because I was able to do breaststroke pretty much all week long, which is a huge success. Been able to swim almost every practice breaststroke. Still not fully snapping the kick yet, still kind of protecting the knees, but building back into that leg strength. God, it was just, it was a fun. Ah! Was it? Was it? <laughs> Blake was going fast today. Misha was going even faster. Oh my gosh. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you today. I missed you too. Oh, why, why are we so far away? I was doing breaststroke. No, oh, for that whole set? I did breaststroke the whole set. Oh, that'd be brutal. In the women's freestyle heat, that was getting destroyed. This morning was a really, really good week, okay? Especially when we're pushed pretty hard, okay? And I really like the attitudes at the end of the week, okay? People were having fun. You, it really feels like you want to be here, you want to get better, you want to be fast, okay? That being said, is make sure you're making good choices this weekend. Come in and recover for next week. Because some people, you have the ACC challenge coming up. Who's on three? One, two, three. Who's that? That was loud. That was a good one. Successful Saturday practice. Something like finishing a workout that you didn't want to do in the first place and then you do it really well, it's very satisfying. Would you be my friend if I looked like this all the time? Yeah. What if I wore my hair? Wouldn't like you quite as much. If I wore my wow. hair like this, do you think anyone would watch the vlog? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Blake and I are hot tubbing after today's set. Quite honestly, it was one of those mornings where no one was in a good mood, no one wanted to do the workout, and everyone was kind of grumpy about it. But then, once you just grab the bull by the horns and do it really well, like Blake was flying today, Mishi was flying. I was going considerably fast, considering the <laughs> circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put it. <laughs> but it reminds me of that scene in the movie, have you seen the movie Troy? Yeah. Is there no one else? Is there no one else? Brad Pitt plays this warrior named Achilles, and he's about to go fight this really big, scary looking dude. And this little boy goes and gets him, and he says to Achilles, he's like, that man, yeah, yeah, don't ruin it, don't ruin it. He's like, he's, he's like, Achilles, the man you're about to fight is the scariest man I've ever seen. He said, I wouldn't want to fight him. Yeah. Well, that's what the little kid says. The yeah, kid yeah. says, I wouldn't want to oh, fight yeah, yeah. him. And Achilles says, that's why no one will remember your name. And I like it's that like gives me now. it gives me chills though yeah. because it's true like if you don't if you don't just attack something if you have that mentality of like you're afraid of doing something and you and you won't do it then I mean that's the quickest path to failure. I don't want to do an all out four I am. So after practice on Saturday, Allie and I dressed up for Halloween. We went to her brother Zach's house for his annual Halloween party. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> I could hardly see anything in that mask and everyone at the party hates me for walking around in it. It's been difficult. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I'm the clown Pennywise from Stephen King's It, you know, the movie that just came out. Take it. One of Ali's favorite movies. It was actually a really good horror movie. I'm not really, really a scary movie guy, but I liked it a lot. And Ali is dressed up as Georgie, the little kid in the raincoat who gets eaten by me. And just, it's been fun. I think I look pretty legit. I think I look just crucial. <laughs> Sadistic. It's sadistic. Like it's freaky. It's just right, it happens. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, yeah, Ellie and I had a really fun weekend, really fun time at that party. Okay, so the podcast. I started my podcast officially. I just recorded it, the first one with Blake. It is available. <laughs> it is available everywhere, I think. You can listen to the audio on YouTube now. Um, it's available on Spotify, it's available on Stitcher. It should be on the, the iTunes store. 
and the Google Play Store soon if it's not now. My goal is to make it as accessible as possible so that people can listen to it on whatever they normally listen to. So if it's the Google Play Store, you can get it there. If it's Spotify, you can get it there. Long term, the plan is to make the podcast a video podcast, so more of a show. But for now, it's just an audio only thing. Um, I'm gonna try to make it at least once a week, maybe maybe more than once a week. It's a little bit easier. There's not, not as much time and energy and resources go into the podcast as does going to, into making these vlogs. I've had a lot of people for a long period of time telling me that I should start a podcast and I'm finally doing it and it's very much swimming based. So it's like 80% swimming stuff, all things in the world of swimming, 20% whatever else I wanna talk about. Maybe it's movies, maybe it's, you know, whatever. Um, and my plan is to bring people on regularly. Blake will probably be a regular co-host, but people regularly who know a lot about the sport of swimming where we can just talk and hopefully expand people's knowledge base of our sport in, in many different facets. And I'm pretty excited about it and I think it'll be fun. So my goal for this podcast is for it to be an extension of this of this vlog. So it's for people who watch this vlog regularly and want to get to know me a little bit better on a more deeper level. Um, and then, you know, it's, it's longer format. So it might be 15 or 20 minutes long. It might be an hour and a half long. I don't know. It's very casual, but also very informative. The podcast is going to be a place where I can and my guests can openly discuss their opinions and thoughts and feelings on all things swimming and all kinds of different topics. With that being said, you might not always agree with me. You might not always like what I have to say. And I just want to prepare you for that because it's okay to have a differing opinion from me. So if I say something that you disagree with, that's okay. And you don't need to get mad about it. I don't want people screaming at me and sending me negative things on social media. You know, this vlog has always been super positive. And I want to keep it that way. And I want to keep the podcast predominantly that way. Just keep in mind, it's, it's, it's all about perspective and sharing opinions and being open-minded. And I think it's going to be a really good place for people who love the sport of swimming and who enjoy this vlog. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just really, really excited about it. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. Go listen to the podcast now. As always, make sure you guys are following me on social media at Swim Miller on Twitter and at Cody Miller on Instagram. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Go subscribe to my podcast. Um, vlogs every Wednesdays, podcasts every week. I'm going to start doing Q&A videos again. Um, reach out to me on Instagram and let me know what you think after you listen to the podcast. And until the next video, I will see you guys later.